So we are talking to Philip Britton. And Philip, you're the UK and Ireland Sales Director of Kennedy Space Centre. I am, yes. Hello, everybody. And what we are, uh, we, we want to know, to our America uh, visitors going over to Orlando, can you tell us about Kennedy Space Centre and what, why would they go there on a visit? Where shall we start them on? But even how, how far is it from Orlando to Kennedy Space Centre? So Kennedy Space Centre Visitor Complex is on the Atlantic coast yeah. of Florida. Um, we're about a 45 minute to an hour's drive um, oh, cool. from the Orlando area, depending yeah. on where you are. Yeah. Um, and it's one straight road really uh, across across all, um, out of Orlando, past the airport, and out to the visitor complex. Um, so it's a very easy drive. Mm -hmm. um, parking's just $10. At, at but can Kennedy, you organise that from Kennedy Space Centre to collect you? Is there shuttle buses? There's lots of different yeah. options, right. transport-wise. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people would go to Florida, have a hurricane hour course. Yeah. So, you know, that obviously works very well. Um, there's a lot of transportation op options, uh, bus tours, you know, numerous companies mm -hmm. operating buses out there now and various pickup points in and yeah. around, you know, whether it be the Kissimmee area, the iDrive area or, or similar. Uh, or, of course, a lot of people are now using Lyft and Uber and, and, yeah. and everything else. So it's so, very uh, accessible and easy to get to. Very easy to get to, absolutely. Which is good. Yeah. Would yeah. you need a full day there? Would you need more? You need more than a full yeah. day now. Um, I think the perception always previously was, uh, you know, Kennedy Space Centre, three or four hours do it. Mm. But uh, it's got a lot different now. You know, we've changed hugely over the past 10 years or so. And, um, you know, it's very much a journey. It's very much storytelling. It's the past, present and future. Yeah. And to fit that into a day is, uh, is a challenge. Yeah. Uh, and then we have a lot of add-on enhancements as well, which, uh, you know, almost makes it a real two-day a two -day experience now okay. to, to do it properly. But you can do it in one day. Yeah. But uh, get there at nine o'clock mm. and finish at five. And is it suitable for all ages, young and old? Certainly is. Mm. Yes, you know, Orlando is the you know one of the, the fun capitals of the world yeah. for uh, for families uh, and uh, and a lot of individuals alike. Mm. And that's so uh, we've got over sixty simulators now that the children can get involved with. You know, you can practice flying a space shuttle yeah. uh, or docking with the International Space Station. Um, it's a very so immersive yeah, experience. There certainly it? is, and we've uh, a couple of years ago we opened a fantastic indoor play area called Planet Play. Right. So, uh, you know, you can run through Saturn's rings, you can jump around through Mars. It's not just for the kids then. I, I like doing it as well. Uh, you know, one of the best things in there is actually a bar, you okay. know, so the adults can sit there and, yeah. and have a drink while, uh, the, kids while the kids are running around. So, uh, yeah. yeah, there's lots to see and do. Uh, the IMAX screens are fantastic as well. Yeah. You know, certainly in the summer months, get the get the children in the air conditioned yeah. comfort, uh, which which works. And when really you well. get a ticket for the centre, yeah. is that all included? All the stuff that's in there. It is, yeah. yeah. From a, a you know price perspective, yeah. it's it's great value, Kennedy. Mm. You know, every, every everything's included. Um, you know, whether it be going out to the Saturn Five Centre. Mm. Uh, the bus tour out to Saturn V. That's outside the complex. It is. It's still yeah. on uh, on on the property. Yeah. But uh, that's a that's a fifteen minute bus ride or so okay. out to Saturn V. Um, so you see the rocket that went to the moon, mm. which is a brilliant experience. Mm. Come back, come back to um, see uh, Atlantis. Yeah. Uh, space shuttle which did thirty three missions into space. So that's very much a wow factor. Yeah. You know, and can you plan around launches that are happening throughout the year? You can. Yeah. Um, go over a hundred launches this year. Okay. Uh, at Kennedy. So uh, that's. You know, a fantastic thing to see. Yeah. You know, the power, uh, the visual aspect. Um, you know, and just the whole the whole panacea of it. You know, will they have all their launch times and when they're happening on this on the website? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. There's a couple of very good um, apps as well. Yeah. Which you can find all the information on. Uh, but the Kennedy uh, website has got a mm. drop down menu with all the it launches on. There. So you you can you can see all that. And but plan uh, it. you can actually see a launch from the visitor complex. Yeah. Um, you know, if one's happening during uh, hours nine to five or so, you can watch that from the visitor complex yeah. included. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are other options. You yeah. can go out to Banana Creek area or you can go out to the Saturn Five Centre and, and watch a launch a little bit closer. Yeah. So, you know, I'll give you an idea about three and a half miles or so okay. away from it. So, uh, but you can you actually see it. Can you meet launches. an astronaut? You can. <laughs> and yeah. do you have to book that or can you do a tour with them and, and have a chat with them? You can. There's yeah. two different options to meet an yeah. astronaut, really. Um, there's one we do every day called Astronaut Encounter. So three times a day, mm. an astronaut will get onto a stage and answer some questions uh, for about 20 minutes or so, uh, which is, a, again, include, an included option yeah. and is very popular. Yeah. Um, and then increasingly is our uh, more intimate experience with an astronaut called uh, Chat with an Astronaut. Okay. 
So that's uh, about a 50 minute experience, happens twice a day, yeah. uh, once mid morning, once mid afternoon. And uh, you've got a selection of um, you know sliders, sodas, you know uh, beers, etc. It's in a theatre kind of space. It's a small, yeah. around forty to fifty yeah. pe people, so, so nice and intimate. eight to ten tables. Mm. Um, and yes, you know, ha ask that question mm. you've always wanted to ask, mm. uh, and uh, feel a, a little bit more, you know, closer to an yeah. astronaut, and come away with some some signed memorabilia. And, uh, and, a, and a NASA gift as well. So and there's lots, lots of simulators and immersive things yeah. to do there, isn't there? I mean, yeah. just you, you won't be bored. <laughs> That's you, for you, sure. You won't be bored, and you often you people come away just thinking, "Wow, I, w I want to go back." Yeah. Or sometimes think, "I wish I'd have done." And the Explorator, for example, mm. you know, it's one along with the space shuttle. I love going out to the launch pads to see the Explorator, yeah. uh, but it takes you know it's a two and a half hour experience. Okay. Um, that's, so you know, people often want to come back for a, for a second okay, day. It's good to know. So it's one to two day experience, probably Absolutely. if you want to see it all. Yeah. And there's a gateway experience as well. What's that about? Gateway, yes, yeah. is our really big new thing. Yeah. Um, opened a couple of years ago now. So in that, that's all about the the, the future mm. of space travel and uh, you know where where we're going going to go. So we've got a lot of space flying hardware in there. We've got a um, space Falcon rocket that hangs from the ceiling. You know, to, to sit and sit and marvel at yeah. that is, is is superb. We've got some space flying capsules, so we've got uh, an Orion capsule in there, which uh, one day will bring uh, four astronauts back from uh, back mm. from the moon. Yeah. Uh, so that will be good to see. And we've also got the newest addition is our new Shepard capsule, um, so that you can sit mm. in that and you can interact and understand what some of the astronauts go through. Uh, and then finally, four rides uh, within uh, Gateway. Okay. Uh, so you can fly through Saturn's rings, you can oh, go on wow. a journey through Mars, yeah. go through uh, the universe, and uh, almost, uh, you know, in, you're in free fall. Yeah. Uh, I'm out with it. It must so, be hard to get the kids out, I'd say. I'd say the kids go They just keep going around again <laughs> yeah. to the, ne the next one. So, uh, why but, would tourists not want to see all this? I mean, really, it, it should be part of the package going to. Uh, I think Orlando. the, the, the biggest yeah. challenge with Orlando is there's so much to do. Yeah. And that, but and you know, roller coasters and all that are not yeah. everybody's thing, so this is another option for visitors to have. It's educational, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's immersive, and it's real, yeah. You know, a lot Authentic. of a lot of it's, yeah. it's real, it, it actually happened, yeah. You know, we did go to the moon and we yeah. will continue to go to the moon, and, and it's nice it's to see Mars. what's happening in the future as well. So they're, they're thinking ahead, too, absolutely, yeah. And it inspires, yeah. it's an inspirational story, yeah, you know, for, for the youngsters, and they're the future astronauts, yeah. You know, the people that are going to go to Mars in yeah. 20, 15, 20 years' time. You know, they're the ones that are in, in school and college now. Yeah. So uh, they might be inspired there when they meet the astronauts absolutely. as well. Absolutely. You know, and I think my the message is really, you know, in Orlando, come to, come to the visitor complex. Yeah. You know, even if it's just for a day. Yeah. And that's uh, well worth it. Yeah, so absolutely. Buy those tickets. So we have to go and buy them tickets. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much, Philip. Good to see you. Everyone. Thank you very much.